DaVinci Resolve 18 has made roto brushing, object tracking, an insanely easy process. Let's get it done in two seconds. So I'm gonna create a new timeline. I have some footage of a car I shot with a drone. And what I wanna do is object track or roto brush out the car and put text behind it. Before Resolve 18, you would have to keyframe the entire car and go literally frame by frame and it would take hours. I'm gonna open this timeline up. I'm gonna take my car footage and put it in there. Now this car footage was shot at 30 frames a second. I have a 24 frame timeline. In the cut page of Resolve, the easiest way to change speed of a clip is right click, change speed, and you get this little guy. It's already, it was already there because I did it before, but you just change this down to 80%. Now, a 30 frame per second clip on a 24 frame per second timeline is gonna be 80%. So we did that and it plays back fine. If you didn't do this, frame interpolation would make the, make the scene jitter. If you think about it, all these frames, you got 24 frames in one second, and if the frame that you're watching lands on a frame that is not there from a 30 frame per second, you're gonna get a jitter. But now look at this, how buttery smooth it is. So I got this into the timeline. I'm gonna trim it down with these handles on the end of the clips. And we're pretending where the, this is my super has to be done in two seconds. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna alt click, drag up. We're gonna drag, all that did was duplicate this. I'm gonna add it up again. I don't have audio, so I'm gonna move this down. And then I'm gonna add my text in between these two right here. So for that, we're gonna go to our text tool or grab some text and drop that text right between the two. There's a little bit of setup process, but it's not much. So now what do we have? We have a, a full shot on top, text in the middle, and then our background, our clean plate. So we're gonna select the top one. We're gonna roto out the car and watch how ridiculously fast this is. You're gonna go to your color tab. So now we're in the color page and we see on the timeline, we got video track three selected. So what I'm gonna do is go to the magic mask, click on object tracker right here. It's already selected. Get the plus dropper, go back up to the car. I'm gonna draw this line right around my object. Boom. Now you can finesse this a little more. And once we get the mask, set we're gonna track it so we're gonna click here and this will take a minute depending on your computer i have a 3080 ti so it should go pretty quick and it's done you can check your mask looks pretty good i mean that mirror is kind of blending in with the street but we can finesse this more or less or whatever look how fast it tracked that whole car so what we need to do from here is right click on the node tree add alpha output and we're gonna connect this up, boom, like that. Now we're done in color. I'm gonna go back to the edit page and you can already see the text I put on behind there is showing up. So we're gonna say green Lincoln, because that's what kind of car it is. I'm gonna make a different color so it stands out. Make some room to see. I'm gonna change the size. I'm gonna have that size grow over time. So what you would do is go here. This is what I want it to start at. And I want this text to fade in, little handle there, little handle out. Green Lincoln, keyframe the size, go to the end, make it bigger. Shazam, we have text behind the vehicle. Now for fun, I'm gonna make this move here. Let's start up there. Go back to this keyframe position. I'm gonna have it go through the car like that. It's growing, it's going behind the car. It's 
kind of cool. I mean, back in the day, that type of rotoring, rotoscoping would have took three years. Now you can just do it in two seconds. How crazy is today?